Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you are new. We are here to watch another episode of The Fall of the House of Usher. This is episode four. It is called The Black Cat. Last episode, we saw one of the siblings get mauled by an ape. <laughs> and the physical performance that, uh, that Carla put on was absurd and it was so good and she was just like embodying this chimpanzee or whatever it was and it was brutal it was brutal and then uh what what's what, carmine or car carm something um the the sibling was like f it i got mine like she's fine dying like wild stuff this next episode is going to heavily feature Rahul Kohli's character. I assume he's going to die in this episode as well, so um, I'm very excited to see what happens. Before we jump into this, though, if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. helps my channel grow. If you're new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full, uncut version of this reaction, consider either supporting me on Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Uh, you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's jump into episode four of The Fall of the House of Usher. I'm looking for a little pussy. And I hate to be this guy, but it's a very specific pussy cat I need. Please tell me you can handle that. Yeah. Oh. Cutie, I can handle that just fine. She's gonna kill you. <laughs> Short timer. Scheduled to leave us tonight. That does not look like a black cat. What about that one? No, not available. Is it black? It's a purebred British shorthair. We've already had four applications for her online. But there are some really lovely cats. Okay, but this guy's got hella money, so... Just give it to him. I don't think you know what I am. <laughs> God, that's uncanny. Un what do you I, mean uncanny? Let me, uh... Oh, that looks just like the cat you had. <laughs> that thing has huge eyes. Oh, sorry. I guess daddy's out getting a latte or something. <laughs> Little cunt. Ooh, that's a big scratch. It's amazing how far you can get on denial. You know Quite why so many people use denial what to get by? One new message from someone. Your granddaughter again? This late, you want to take it? She okay? She's fine. I'm gonna have to zoom in on that when I edit. Vic! This is your lab, your animals. I don't know. I didn't send her there. No, maybe. Hmm? Maybe the $50 million bounty has something to do with it? Probably. Cyborg murder monkeys. You're not putting this on me. My wife is in the ICU. She's like, maimed. Is maimed. What are we? Maimed. Maimed. I, I have the launch. Right what I are we doing? Sit down. They're all so selfish. This is just awful. I'm so sorry. Camille was such a... Why is it talking? It really, it shouldn't be talking it. right now. She just said she's Why sorry. Why is it talking? Everyone toes the line. This is not about oh. sticking together. It's about forming a fucking wall. So save the static until I figure out what the fuck is going on. And until then, I don't care if Madeline tells you to fart into a microphone on national television, you fucking do it. We're at battle stations. I'm the commanding officer. I don't want to hear anything. But sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Captain Pike, sir. Do we have audio? We do not. Why the fuck not? Yeah, this why not? Really a thing typically with security cameras. Stop right there. You recognize her, don't Enhance. you? That also <laughs> would be a thing. <laughs> You can zoom in, but that doesn't actually enhance. Well, then please zoom in, no, Arthur. Fine. <laughs> enhance. Whoever the fuck this woman is, find her now. You guys don't recognize her? Come on. I mean, how does it work? Double them up? I mean, what's worse, a double funeral or having to attend two separate ones? A triple funeral. I get it. Just tell me what I can do. 
<sighs> you can go in the other room. Jesus! Just missed her. <laughs> that scared me. I mean, this is a scary show, so that makes sense, but... She was here after you, or after the oh, tech. Oh, God, just ask me already. Is it you? Maybe you talk to the feds. I think it's none of them. You know how much money I spent to smooth over oh, those chimps? Believe me, I do. You know what the waiver cost me? I had to build 10 fucking miles of habitat. Yeah. That's a lot. Is it? I don't know. We're moving to human trials. Don't, okay, don't lie to him. You think you have the data to get it approved? Well, as a matter of fact, yeah, I do. You super don't. <laughs> You're a liar. What you said? What? What is delicate? This is a this burner is phone. Louis bag. <laughs> Do you recognize it? It's a burner phone for the sex party. We share it, sirs. We can't open it though. But it isn't hers. I understand. Maybe try anyway. <laughs> Just type in some passcodes, man. What about her ring? Her wedding ring? Have they found that yet? It's melted to her body. <laughs> Enhanced. <laughs> oh yeah, you recognize her brother. She is coming for you. Is this the location of the the bar that they went to back in the day? Yo, that's ominous as hell, bro. That's so spooky. Ravens symbolize karma. All the bad things you've ever done coming back to bite you. Bruh, don't do this. Whatever you're ringing, stop it. Is this a, a memory? A ghost? What is happening? That beautiful device being tested in the good old USMA on someone whose life could really change. Mm -hmm, I'm lucky to be mm -hmm. a part of it. You're super gonna die if you were a real person. And Dr. Ruiz, will perform the surgery herself? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she is, you know, she's very, very excited about this too. Mm-hmm. One, 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 one. Do you have, I'm, I mean, I know you kids these days, you can hack into all sorts of things, can't you? Yeah, hack into this phone, child. <laughs> well, do you have any idea how we can get in there? Well. Think of the easiest password. It's a Marshall Honey. speaker right there. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, I can do it. <sighs> well, now that you mention it, people grieve in different ways. <laughs> well, if it'll help you sleep. Okay. It will indeed. is watching. <laughs> oh! oh. 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 So, Joe's. I'm sorry! Fuck! Why is your oh. hand covered in blood? Oh my Are god! You fucking joking! How many nights did poor Ernie bear the brunt meant for me? Like I said, I'm familiar. Napoleon was most like me in this way. Napoleon. But see, I wanted something better. So 
something better for him, for all of them, a trait of mine that seemed to skip them, somehow. Sublimation. So what does that mean? Sublimation was when a person chooses to redirect strong emotions into an object or an activity that's appropriate and safe. Okay. You pour your energy into kickball. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> oh my I was god! Talking, I was fucking talking! Jesus! Don't you raise your voice to me. You talk about displacement all you like. You don't point that shit at me. You understand? I will knock your goddamn lights out. You raise your voice at me. You're right. <laughs> I do. I respect you, Augie. I do respect you. I always have. Scared the crap out of me. Martian Manhunter's ready to throw hands. Yes? Hi there, sorry to bother. I'm looking for Roger Usher. I believe some of these signatures are forged, and I believe this doctor has been enlisting some of them in studies without fully informing them or their families about possible side effects. I don't know anything about yeah. any of this. What don't. sort of action could he have taken at this point? Your signature is here. Next to Brevitz. Is that actually your signature? I cannot recall if I did or if I did not sign these particular papers. But I'm happy to look into it as soon as possible. I just don't recall. Legal speak. You don't want to risk it. Can't afford to say the wrong thing. Hard to say the wrong thing. Even harder to do the right thing. <sighs> that is a lot. She's gonna feel guilty and then things will things will go forward. The real laboratory, okay? The real lab is the real world. Okay, but did you forge his signature or not? <laughs> My signature was forged. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It definitely was on at least a half a dozen forms. You a team player, Rod? Hmm? If you're a team player, then it wasn't. <laughs> this isn't just about sticking together. This is about forming a fucking wall. Now, we are all at fucking battle stations right now. I am the commanding officer, and I don't want to hear anything out of your mouth that isn't, sir, yes, sir. Do you get me? Damn, that's like almost the same speech he said to his kids before. You're in the officer's club now, son. So you can relax. You just remember whose team you're on. And you'll be fine. Okay. If he's in the officer's club, I think he deserves a little bit more money. You play your cards right. One day all this could be yours, Charlie Bucket. Now let's get a drink, huh? It's gotta be noon somewhere. <sighs> Theoretically. You're gonna go to work, and you are going to keep eating that shit. And you're gonna make Rufus Griswold think it's your favorite food. And then you're gonna call this number. You're going to become best friends with August Dupin. Big yikes. Sorry to show up like this and take a minute. <laughs> a lot of stairs. <laughs> Just use the elevator. Dude, did you sprint up the stairs? Hey, I was hoping for some drugs. I'm going through a rough time and Maury, you know, well, Maury, she's melted, you know. Literally. I can't help but wonder why she was even at this Perry's orgy. Please don't fucking say mm -hmm. that word. Sorry. Perry's cuddle puddle. <laughs> <laughs> cuddle puddle. Fuck! What the hell? 
Fucking hell! Grab that cat! Oops. Fuck! Did he not see a cat? Oh, right down the eyeball. We built his body with work and soul. Oh my god, they're so weird. Cyberpunk 2077. Good game. Fucking hell! Jesus. You sat on that? <laughs> Is there another dead animal in your slipper, too? This cat is a proficient hunter. Cats are predators. It's in their genes. Yeah, but how is it finding all of these animals? It's harmless. Unless you're a mouse. He's harmless. a mouse. Yeah. That's so many. She's in the walls. What? They're predators because they're Efficient. A lot like your father, aren't they, Leo? That's so creepy. He just crushed that thing's eyeball. That thing's made out of plastic, brother. But you! You little shit! <laughs> oh. Dude is unhinged right now. Oh, fuck it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why? Why? What are you doing? My brother in Christ, how are you supposed to... Her face is melted. <laughs> Did it work? Well, fuck. Of course it didn't work. What do you say? This is when his, uh, delusions start. Excuse us. Frightening stuff. Yo, he is completely tearing out the walls. Leo, what's happening? He doesn't. Brother, you going crazy. Oh, he's gonna jump off. Stop. Stop. Boom. Oh, I thought he was gonna crush the car. That's not as fun. Yeah, you best make yourself scarce, brother. You don't want to have people see you. Oh. 
Oh, and the actual cat is back. Gucci collar and everything. Oh my god. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Okay, uh, Leo is dead. <laughs> he went crazy trying to kill this cat, and it was a, a harrowing experience. Um, <laughs> I was, at first I was like, how is this cat gonna kill him? I thought maybe like his cut would get infected or something. And then like I saw the thumbnail of him like covered in scratches. So I'm thinking like, how is this cat gonna be the thing that kills him? And then you realize at the end he dies cause he fell off the balcony, um, which is a lot. It's a lot. Um, this raven in all her forms is coming after these people for as karma for what they did, right? All the years and years of bad living and horrible deeds that they have done, she's coming after them and they are going to pay up. Leo is now the third child to die. Um, and I think that are they going youngest to oldest? So the two, na uh, not natural born, the, uh, the two, the two that came from like his first wife are going to be probably the last two to die, I'm guessing, or, or maybe Victorine. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but there's so many, so many little things in this episode that were just so interesting. Like, uh, uh, Froderick, <laughs> I know that's not his name, uh, Froderick um, trying to unlock this phone the whole time. <laughs> he's like using her face. He's like, come on, come on. <laughs> like, like it's just unhinged behavior from all of them. Um, and you just, you see the Raven just popping up in different moments in these people's lives, like setting it up um, for when she eventually kills them later on. And she's not evil. Uh, from what I understand, she's not an evil person. She's just like, the embodiment of karma and she's coming to get them like they deserve what's coming to them and it's just it's so interesting um Rahul Kohli he crushed this episode as always he's fantastic he's an incredible actor um just watching him become increasingly unhinged throughout the episode as he hunts for this cat was a delight first of all <laughs> and then just seeing him like, uh, and well, okay, and some of the stuff that this cat did to him, like clawed his actual eyeball. How do you, you do, how do you see out of that thing after that? Like, it's gone. Like, you can't do anything. Like, that cat was putting him through it, brother. Like, he was, he was struggling. Um, and I think the funniest part is the real cat that he was trying to replace wasn't even dead. Like, he thought he killed the old cat, but then at the end of the episode, the cat trots up, Gucci collar and all, seemingly perfectly fine. So it's like, what the heck, brother? Like, <laughs> this cat's alive and well. I think, uh, I think the scariest moment of the episode for me was when, um, Leo's body falls in that li in the living room when they're talking, just falls and they all start freaking out and yelling at each other and it's like, oh my God, like that scared me. And then Martian Manhunter stands up and he's like, I will put your ass out. Like I will, you raise your voice at me, I will knock your lights out. And it's like, oh my God, dude, like this is frightening. Um, that like, I, I think I legit jumped. Um, that was scary. Uh, a couple more things. He got a text message on his phone during that interaction. I am definitely gonna have to zoom in when I'm editing to see like who sent him the message. I don't, I don't think it said like what the text said. I, I just need to know who sent it. I'm um, very curious about that. Um, I'm curious about his sister. He keeps saying she's in the basement and there's noises coming from the basement. She's either dead or like chained up or something has happened to her. Like there's no way it's just her alive and well, like perfectly fine because she would have come up the stairs when they were yelling. Like she wouldn't have stayed down there. 
Um, so I'm curious what's going on there. And I'm just curious to see his like continuing like mental deterioration uh, throughout the whole season. Like it's it's getting intense. We're halfway through the season now, so four episodes left, and it's probably not going to get any better. <laughs> He's just going to continue to go insane as he sees all his children die. Um, I'm curious who's who's next up on the docket. Okay, so I'm guessing next episode, uh, Victorine dies. Episode 6, uh, uh, Tamerlane is going to die, I'm guessing. And then episode 7, Frederick, Froderick, dies. And then episode 8 could be like a whole flashback episode. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but we will find out. I think that's all I got to say about this one, though. Definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Are you still enjoying this show as much as I am? Uh, I'm very curious to hear all your opinions. If you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. It helps my channel grow. If you're new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider either supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. Uh, your support there would mean the world. But other than that, that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.